guys. So today I'm going to be doing my September favorites because it is now officially October. But I am happy that it's October because that means it's fall time and Halloween is this month. And also my birthday is next month. It's November 7th. So I'm really excited for that too. So I'm just really pumped that it's October right now, you know. And as you guys can tell, I painted my wall. It is now white. And a lot of you guys guessed white, which is really cool. A lot of you guys also said pink. And then some of you were like green and purple and orange and all these crazy colors. But I decided to go with white. And the two side walls in my room are pink so it's like pink and then one white wall you know so I really like it and yeah so I just wanted to mention that but now I'm going to show you guys my September favorites and I really want to know what your guys' September favorites are so leave a video response below and let me know what yours are or you can just like tweet me or leave a comment and be like yo Bethany I've been loving this for September okay anyways I have my little tray right here with my favorites in it so I'm going to go ahead and get started okay so first two favorites could not fit on my tray but these are the Tresemme Split Remedy Shampoo and Conditioner you guys know I used to use the Bedhead Shampoo and that worked really well for me. I liked it. But then I ran out and I was like, you know, what? I'm going to try a less expensive shampoo and conditioner and see how it works. So I got this one by Tresemme. And oh my gosh, you guys, this has helped my hair so, so much. It made it a lot softer. It makes it smell really nice. And also, I don't wash my hair every day. I wash it every other day. So this keeps my hair cleaner for a lot longer than the Bedhead one did. Plus, just for the shampoo from Bedhead, it was $15. And for both of these together, it was $10. So that's pretty awesome. I've been loving these guys lately. And you guys know I love to smell stuff. And this smells so good. Like, seriously, I think you guys would love this. Just smell that, guys. Mm, isn't it so good? I know. So yummy. Next favorite is my L'Oreal True Match Healthy Luminous Makeup, and this is a liquid foundation. It comes in a little pump like this, as you can tell, and I love this foundation because it's really, really light on my skin. Like, literally, it feels like I'm putting on a moisturizer, but it gives the coverage of a really nice foundation, and also it has, like, this glowy sheen to it, so it looks a lot more natural on your skin than if you were to wear, like, a matte foundation, so I've been using that a lot for September, and then for eyeshadow in September, literally, I have been using these palettes like crazy. They're the e.l.f. Little Black Beauty books, and I got them at Target, of course. Where else, guys? So this is the first one that I discovered at Target. So when you open it up, it basically has a huge variety of different eyeshadows. And I was actually surprised when I found out that the quality of these shadows is incredible. They're very pigmented, and I think this palette was like 5 or $10. It's either 5 or 10 And then this one I discovered, and I was like, they made a second one? So this palette is a little bit more colorful, as you can tell, and I've been using, like, these colors a lot, of course, like, the non-color ones in the palette. But I think that these palettes are great because you get a nice variety of colors, and you can create all different kinds of looks, and they're really handy because they're, like, small and compact. They're not, like, huge palettes. So I totally recommend these palettes. I cannot stress enough how much I love these. They are awesome! And next, I've been using my Charlotte Ronson 2 Times a Charm Blush and Bronzer Duo. So obviously, one side is a blush, and one side is a bronzer, but normally, I've just been using the blush lately. I use the bronzer sometimes, but I really love this blush color. It's like kind of a corally pink with a little bit of shimmer. So what I do is I just like blend this onto the apples of my cheeks and then I blend it out with my fingers and it just gives me like this natural flush to my cheeks that I really like. Okay, for lips, I have two favorite lip products. The first one is my Rosebud Lip Salve. I feel like I've showed this to you guys so many times, but honestly, this is like one of my makeup essentials and if I can only choose like one product to use for the rest of my life, it would be the this right here it's super sheer when you put it on your lips but it still gives me like a little tint of like a natural pink color it's so moisturizing it makes your lips very very soft and also you can use this on other places besides your lips it says chapped lips skin diaper rash whoa there um, blemishes detergent burns and rough cuticles and also to rough hands so I just think it's a really nice all-in-one moisturizing product but I mainly only use it on my lips I mean I don't have diaper rashes or anything. And my second favorite lip product for September is the Revlon Just Fit and Kissable Balm Stain. You guys know I love these, but this color, it's in the shade Sweetheart, and basically it's like a really pretty bright pink. It's just so pretty. I just look at it, I'm like, <gasps> but yeah, I wore this in my last video, which was my Walgreens Target haul, so I really have been loving this product. Okay, next favorite, oh my gosh, this is actually, I have one more lip product for you guys. Okay. Now, I don't even put this on my lips, but it is a lip product, and it's a favorite of mine because of the smell. It's a little owl! And if you open up his little butt right here, you have a lip balm, and it smells like apples and cinnamon. It's just like fall time in an owl's butt. It's so good. 
My mom actually picked this out for me and I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. So I actually didn't even know it was a lip balm and then I got it and I just thought it was so yummy smelling. So I basically just keep this to smell it and I just think it's really cute as well. Next favorite is a hand sanitizer by Bath & Body Works because you gotta sanitize your hands, guys. You know, you gotta kill those germs. So it's from the Bath & Body Works Halloween collection and I think it's the cutest one ever because it's Goalfriend. Look at that, it's a little skull and it says Goalfriend. Is that not the most adorable thing ever? Like, I thought it was really cute. So it's very scented and it's purple and it has like little blue beads. So I've been using this to sanitize my hands. I have a lot of different hand sanitizers, but this one is my fave right now. Okay, and this next favorite my mom got for me when she was at the mall. She came home and gave it to me and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna smell that and try it out. So I think it's a new scent from Victoria's Secret. It's Midnight Dare. So I smelt it and I literally fell in love. I was like head over heels in love with the scent. It's so young. Yummy! It's supposed to smell like raspberry and sandalwood and I just think it smells so delicious. It's like really sweet smelling and it's just an amazing scent. So if you have not tried this yet from Victoria's Secret, you should definitely check it out and smell it and let me know what you think because I really want the full size of this now. It's like my favorite scent. Okay, now it is time for the non-beauty favorite. So first non-beauty favorite of September is my trick-or-treat candle from Yankee Candle. Yay! So this is what it looks like. It kind of looks like a candy corn or something like that, but it's supposed to smell like candy corn and buttercream. It's a very sweet scent. You guys probably know by now, I really like sweet smelling things. And this is one of the sweetest candles that I've ever had. I really love candy corn. It's like my favorite Halloween candy ever. So mixed with buttercream, it's like magic. So I've been loving this candle. It's really delicious smelling and it has little trick or treat bags on it, which is really cute. So that's my favorite candle for September. I have two fashion favorites for September. The first ones are these boots that are from Aldo when I was shopping there recently. So you actually can't tell, but these have a wedge in them like the wedge starts right here but it almost looks like they're not even wedges when I'm just holding them up but I really love the pattern on the back of these it's kind of like tribal print and I really love wearing these with skinny jeans and a cute knit top and everything so those are my favorite shoes right now I just think they're so adorable and then my other fashion favorite for September has been skirts just like tons of skirts in general I've really been loving so you guys saw this one already in my fall inspiration video it's from Urban Outfitters and I really love pairing the skirt with like boots that's like my favorite thing to pair with it and then this skirt I just got recently. This one's from Forever 21. It has like this cool flower pattern. It's like really colorful. So just like skirts in general I've really been enjoying. I really like high-waisted skirts and I like pairing them with like sneakers and boots. I don't know why but I like pairing skirts with really casual shoes. Another non beauty favorite, um, I actually ate it all. It's bottle caps. Here's the wrapper. I have proof to you guys. And yeah, bottle caps are like my obsession, but I can never find them like in stores. I only find them like during Halloween time, so that's really sad, but I've been obsessed with bottle caps lately. I think that's all my food favorites this month. That's like really surprising. Oh no, wait, I have one more. It's actually on my table back here. It's kind of really gross now because I got it this morning. I don't even want to like give you guys a close-up of that. But it is a caramel macchiato from Starbucks. And I always get extra caramel and I get it iced because I don't like it hot. I like it iced. But yeah, I have been obsessed with caramel macchiatos from Starbucks. They're my favorite drink from there. So you should definitely try them out. But yeah, it looks super gross now. So we don't need to look at that. Okay, now for my favorite song of the month. I have my phone back here. But I'm going to narrow it down to three songs for you guys, just so we're not going to be here for like an hour. Anyways, my first one is Hey L.A. by Ryan Beatty. Oh my goodness, that song, I rock out to it in the car like every single day. Like I have it on repeat all the time. <laughs> So yeah, that's my first favorite one. My second favorite one is Ready or Not by Bridget Mendler. I think that's going to be my favorite one out of all of them this month. Like, out of all my favorite songs, that's, like, the top. Like, oh my goodness. That song is amazing. I heard it on Disney Channel because, yes, I still watch Disney Channel, you know. But it's just a really, really fun song, and I like the music video as well, so I'll make sure to link that below so you can check it out. I don't think you guys are going to guess this one. Like, I honestly don't think you guys know that I'm obsessed with this song. I think I've been pretty good about keeping my obsession under wraps, you know? Yes, Live While We're Young by One Direction. That song, the music video, like I heard the song and then I watched the music video and then I was like, I'm sold. I, this is like the most amazing song ever. So those are my three favorite songs of the month and those are all of my September favorites, I think. Yep, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm really excited because I'm about to leave to go watch Pitch Perfect. I've been tweeting about it because I love the trailer. I've literally watched the trailer like probably over a hundred times. So yeah, I'm gonna go watch that and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye! Mmm, better not.
looks really gross. I literally got it this morning. Should I drink it? No, I'm totally kidding. I would never do that. Maybe if I was like on a game show and the prize was One Direction, then I'd do it. But not now. <laughs> okay, so, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what was that? my February favorites and it feels really weird saying that and I know in every favorites video I'm always like the month just flew by but it just feels so weird saying February favorites like I don't know it's very weird to me but since February is over and it is now March I'm just gonna show you guys all of my favorite things for the month of February I have like beauty products and then of course like my food favorites and random things like that so I want you guys to leave a video response below of your February favorites and if you don't want to film a video you can just like leave a comment below and let me know what some of your favorite things for February were because I'm probably gonna read them and be like oh my gosh I need to check that out oh and really quick I actually just did a video with my sister her username is hello Britty here on YouTube and we did this tag video that we created it's called the best of both worlds tag and basically you can film it with like your best friend or your sister or your brother or anyone that's close to you and you just answer like a bunch of fun questions so if you guys want to see us doing like a Q&A video I will link that below so you can go watch it um, it was really fun to film and yeah it's an interesting video so you can go check that out but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and get into my February favorites now so let's get started Alright, so my first favorite for February is a skincare product, and this is the Clean Start Dermalogica Wash Off Cleanser, and I actually used this last year. I had the sample size, and I, like, used it so much, and then I finally ran out of it, and I just never repurchased a sample size or the full size. So recently, I decided to pick up a full size, and I am in love with this cleanser. Now, I just, like, was reminded why I loved it so much last year, because it is amazing. It's formulated specifically for teenagers, so if you struggle with acne and oil, and stuff like that on your skin then this will really help you it's helped me so much it really just like cleanses your skin of all the oil and dirt and it just makes my skin feel so soft and clean like I use this every morning and every night and I just put a little bit all over my skin and then wash it off it's super easy to use and it really makes your skin feel amazing all right and my next favorite is the Mac mineralized skin finish in the shade cheeky bronze so I've really been into like bronzy blushes lately like kind of shimmery corals and like baked bronzy colors I don't know I've really just been into it lately I really love the effect that it gives my skin so this one specifically by Mac I have been obsessed with I just take an angled blush brush and just apply this to my cheeks and oh my gosh I'm wearing it today and it just gives my skin like this glowy very kind of like bronze goddess look if you know what I mean it's just super gorgeous oh and this is another blush that I've been loving it's by wet n wild and it's very shimmer and this one is kind of a little bit more like red than the Mac one but it's still like shimmery kind of like the Mac one is and I really love to apply this one on my cheeks also but it's like so pigmented you have to be super careful with how much you apply like I literally just like lightly dab my blush brush in there and that's still way too much like it's crazy pigmented look at that it's like BAM Okay, and as for favorite eyeshadow, for the month of February, I was kind of lazy. Like, I just didn't want to spend time doing, like, a whole eyeshadow look. So I resulted to these awesome products by Maybelline. They're the Color Eye Tattoos. And this one is my favorite. It's in the shade Bad to the Bronze. And this is what it looks like. It's just a very pretty bronzy color and it's basically just a cream shadow that literally stays on all day like all I do is just put a little bit on my ring finger apply it to my lids and then I'm done and it looks like I put so much work into my eyeshadow when I really did it but when I do want to put a little bit of extra work into my eyeshadow I've been going for my Naked 2 palette by Urban Decay and they're all just like neutrals but it has like browns and silvers and black and it's just very very awesome and this is just like my go-to palette when I just want like a neutral eye I just pull out this bad boy and there's like endless combinations so I've been loving this one also okay and there is a lip combination that I've been using a lot for February and the first thing that I do is apply this Rimmel lipstick in the shade Cosba but it's just a really pretty like deep coral color and it has a little bit of shimmer so I just kind of pat this all over my lips and then I take this MAC lipstick which is actually discontinued so I'm really sorry but basically it's just kind of like a rosy pink color and it has kind of like a glossy effect to it so it's kind of like a lip gloss in a lipstick form but I've been loving pairing these two lipsticks together it is like my favorite lip combo ever right now and there's actually one other lip product that I've really been into lately it is my lip butter by Kors and this one is the pomegranate one I'm wearing it right now now and it looks like extremely dramatic in the container but once you put it on it's actually very sheer 
and it smells really good and they're just like super moisturizing. I just like it because it kind of enhances like my natural lip color. Like this is not my natural lip color in the tube, but once you put it on, it looks very similar to my natural lip color. So I've been wearing this a lot. I just like throw it in my bag and then just continuously reapply it throughout the day. Okay, and favorite mascara for February. I feel like I have a new favorite mascara every single month. Like you guys know how much I love mascara. So my favorite mascara this month has been the Revlon 3D Volume Mascara. And the packaging doesn't look that appealing, but oh my gosh, this is like one of those don't judge a book by its cover products because it is amazing. So as you can tell, the brush is very clean and you don't really get any clumps with this mascara. And basically to sum it all up, this is just a really awesome mascara and I've been using it like all the time lately. It kind of gives your lashes like that natural, amazing look. Like it makes them very long, it doesn't clump them, and it makes them very thick. I don't know, it's just a really cool mascara and I've been absolutely loving it. So I definitely recommend that. Alright, and favorite nail polish for February. I know I told you guys I was trying to stay away from pink polish just because I've been wearing it a lot lately. But I had to make an exception for this one. This is the Pink Friday Polish by OPI. And I believe that this is from Nicki Minaj's Nail Polish Collection. It is just the prettiest, like, creamy, light pink. It doesn't have any shimmer or glitter or anything like that. It's just a nice, creamy color. And it is so pretty for spring and so pretty for, like, any time of the year. I don't really care because I love it so much. I'll wear it whenever. And my last favorite beauty product for February is a hair product. And that is the Macadamia Natural Oil Nourishing Leave-In Cream. And the packaging is, like, totally awesome awesome on this. I think it's really cool. But I was in the market for like a new leave-in cream that I could just put in my hair when I'm done styling it and I found my love. So after I curl my hair, straighten my hair, do anything to it, I apply this afterwards and it just leaves my hair like smelling good and feeling good and having like this shiny glossy effect and it just takes away like flyaways and frizziness, just everything. It's like the icing on the cake like when you do your hair. You apply this and it's good to go. So those are all of my beauty favorites for February and now we have the random ones. Okay, so first off, for a food favorite, pop chips. So these have been like my favorite thing ever lately. But I only like the barbecue pop chips. That's like the only flavor I will eat. I know that they have other flavors, but these are my favorite. So if you like pop chips too, then leave a comment and let me know what your favorite flavor is. They are just so good. Like I probably eat way too many of them than I should. But they have no preservatives, no artificial flavors, colors, cholesterol, saturated fat, trans fat, and they're gluten free. So that's pretty awesome. And this food flavor is probably very, very random. But... I've been liking oatmeal lately, and I know that's just like such an odd favorite, but like I never used to like oatmeal because my mom always got like the little packets, but I've really been loving just like the real oats lately, so I just like put it in a bowl with water and I heat it up, and then I add like brown sugar and bananas and milk, and it's just so good, and yeah, I've just been eating like a bowl of this every morning for breakfast, and not even breakfast, sometimes I'll have it for lunch too. And there's a book that I've really been into lately, and it's not like a reading book, it's more of an activity book and it is the my even more wonderful world of fashion book so I got this on modcloth.com I think you can also get it at like urban outfitters or maybe like bookstores and stuff but this is such a cool book and I am absolutely in love with it so basically it's kind of like a coloring book for people who love fashion there's just like all these pages with like different little activities to do so like on this page right here, it says draw yourself on this page and dress up using any of the items on the opposite page. So you pick like anything from here and you like draw it on yourself. So there's like my little self portrait. I know it's not very good, but I just think it's such a fun book. So if you're into fashion like me and you want an excuse to have a coloring book, then you should get this book. It's pretty fun. Okay, so now it is time for my favorite song of the month. So my favorite song this month, I actually mentioned this in the video that I just filmed with my sister. It was the Q&A. Um, my favorite song for this month is probably We Are Young by Fun. I really just love that song and it just gets stuck in my head and I'll just be singing it all day long. So I'll have a link to that below. And oh my gosh, there's actually one other song that I've been obsessed with lately. It is called Good Girl by Carrie Underwood. Oh my gosh, it is awesome. And I haven't heard that many people talk about that song, so if you haven't heard it, you definitely need to listen to it. If you like country music, I will have that down below. Also, it is just such a fun song to me. So those two songs I've had on repeat in February, and I'm still putting them on repeat to this day because I really just love both of those songs. 
And favorite app of the month is probably Instagram. I finally got an Instagram account like two months ago and it is just like my favorite thing ever right now. I just love taking all those pictures and posting them. And the hardest part though is like choosing the filter. Like I can literally sit there for five to ten minutes like choosing what filter I want. Can anyone agree with me on that? It's kind of like the most difficult part, but it's really fun. So you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram. My username is Bethany Noel M. So those are all of my favorites for February. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like I said, you can leave your favorites below. And if you have any video requests, you can leave that also. And look forward to lots more videos coming up. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay, so, uh, my throat just like messed up. I like oatmeal. That is so random. Table, come to me. And my battery's dying. Yay! So right now I'm sitting on my bed and I'm wearing a beanie today because today was just hair hates Bethany day. Plus it's like 7 o'clock in the morning right now so it's a little bit chilly and that's why I'm wearing a sweater. And you guys probably don't care. So anyways, today I'm going to be doing my September favorites. And I'm just so happy that it's finally October because Halloween is this month and that means there's going to be lots more spook book videos coming up. And after October is November and November 7th is my bee day. So I'm pretty pumped about that too. I just love the fall time. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get into my September faves. Sorry, I'm just like, I have all this energy right now and I kind of just want to like let it out in the world. So my first favorite for September has been this foundation by CoverGirl and it is the Outlast Stay Fabulous foundation with sunscreen SPF 20 and mine is in the shade 840. I seriously love this foundation so much and all I do is I just dot it all over my face and then I blend it in with a foundation brush and it just looks flawless. It feels really light on my skin and I also really love that this foundation does not look cakey at all. It just looks super natural on your skin and it feels natural so I definitely recommend this product if you're looking for a good new foundation to try out. This one is perfect and I love it. Okay, can we just hold the phone for a second here? because I was going around like crazy looking for this product and I was so sad until I finally found it. Ba -ba -da -ba. Ah. The Baby Lips Doctor Rescue. Oh my goodness, when I found out that they were coming out with new baby lips, I freaked out. And these are actually medicated lip balms, so they kind of smell like cough drops, like I'm not even kidding you guys. Kind of smells like medicine that you take when you're sick, but that is why they're called Dr. Rescue. So I actually have really been loving these because I've been traveling a lot, and with the weather changing, my lips have been getting really gross and nasty, and they've been cracking. It's, you guys do not want to know. So I've been wearing these a lot recently, and honestly, right when I put it on, it starts to tingle, and my lips just feel amazing, and it gives a little bit of color. Next favorite makeup product for September has been this mascara. This is the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Mascara and the bottle kind of reminds me of a minion just saying you open it up ba bam so this is what it looks like I don't know what it is about this mascara but it just is so amazing because I've used the regular colossal but something about this one just is a million times better like I put it on and my lashes just feel fabulous like they are ready to take on the world for eyeliner okay I got this from Target and I know it looks really weird so this is a liquid liner it's the curve liner from NYX and when I first got this I was like I am not gonna be able to use this I am going to look like a raccoon when I'm done with this but after I used this eyeliner for the first time I was like oh I love you it was so easy to create the perfect line it's super simple so this is the liquid eyeliner that I've been using non-stop like crazy in September and I love it and it's really inexpensive too which is awesome I've also been using my Benefit Gimme Brow. Okay, I feel like I have a new favorite brow product every month, and I don't know what it is, but I have a new favorite brow product. Okay, but look at this, you guys. So basically, it is like a mascara for your eyebrows. I don't know if you guys can see, but the wand is so little. So you just brush this through your eyebrows, and it adds color. It also helps you shape them, and it keeps them in place because it's kind of like a waxy, kind of like liquidy formulation. I just throw it in my bag, and then I whip it out, and I'm like, oh yeah, give me brow. 
And I definitely think that this is going to be like a permanent product in my brow routine because I've never had a product like this. For my blush, I have been using the Josie Moran Coconut Watercolor Cheek Color and mine is in the shade Berry Bliss. It looks like this. And as you can tell, it's very, very sheer when you apply it. It's kind of more of like a stain and it stays on my skin for so long. So I've just been dabbing this on my cheeks and blending it up to my cheekbones and I just love this color for the fall time. My last favorite beauty product is probably one of the most amazing things ever. Our Moment Perfume by the amazing One Direction. I saw this in the store and I smelt it and honestly like if you were with me in that moment you would know where I'm coming from like it was just it was a magical moment when I first smelt this and I was like there's not even a question like I have to get this so I got it. It honestly smells so good like I genuinely love the scent of this perfume and I would wear this even if it wasn't from One Direction because I just really love the scent of this. Mm, it's so good. Here, you guys want some? One, two, three. You better have shimmied through that. Just saying. Okay, so now we have the non-beauty favorites. So first one, of course, I gotta start off with my food. So recently, I have been loving the Halloween Crunch. Oh my gosh. Okay, first off, it turns your milk green. I mean, come on. What's better than that? Actually, the first time that I tried this, it did not turn my milk green, and I was devastated. I sat my cereal bowl there for like four hours, and my milk was still white, and I was very disappointed. But a few cereal bowls later, my milk was finally green. I don't know why I find that so fascinating. But the cereal is super yummy because I'm a huge sucker for Captain Crunch, so if it's Halloween-themed, that's even better. So I've been eating this a lot recently. This box is seriously empty. There's like five pieces of cereal in it. Yeah. And another edible favorite of mine is the Trident Layers Candy Cane Gum, and this is actually limited edition right now, and I have no idea why, because it's like September, October, and this is something that should be out like during the holidays. The first 20 seconds of chewing this gum, it kind of tastes like fruit, which is really weird. But once you give it some time, then it has like this huge peppermint explosion in your mouth, so you guys need to try this gum if you like peppermint. It is so yummy. It's just like eating candy canes all day. Another non-beauty favorite of mine for September is actually something that I recently got in Singapore because a lot of you guys know I've been traveling so much. I just recently got back from Asia. So when I was in Singapore, I got this beautiful backpack that I just, I could not find anything like this this where I live and look at it you guys. This is a fox backpack. How adorable is this? This store, I think it was called Accessorize. They had like tons of owl and fox stuff everywhere. And every time I look at it, it just makes me happy. So I just had to put it in my favorites video this month. Oh, and speaking of foxes, I've also been loving my fox socks. I got these from Urban Outfitters, so they're just pink, and they have foxes all over them. They are beautiful, and they're super warm and cozy because it's actually been getting pretty cold here. Well, what we consider cold in California. It's probably not that cold to some people. And the last part of my favorites, my favorite songs of the month. Got my phone right here. Oh, and my home button's broken. Won't work, so that's fun. Okay, so my first favorite song of the month has actually been Classic by, I don't remember the name of the artist, but I know it starts with an M, and I love that song to death, so I will have it linked below, so you should definitely check it out. I've also been listening to Team by Lord non-stop. When I say non-stop, I seriously mean that. Like, I have it on repeat, and I listen to it over and over again. It's one of those songs that I have not gotten tired of, and I don't think I'm ever going to get tired of it. I've also been listening to Stop This Train by John Mayer. It's such a beautiful song. I am obsessed with John Mayer's voice, and his music is amazing, but that by far is my favorite song of his right now. And I've also been listening to a song called The Mother We Share. I'm not sure who sings it, but I heard it on the radio and I downloaded it, and I think it's such an awesome song. So those are my favorite songs of the month, which I will have linked below. Like I always say, they'll be right down there, so you can go listen to them and rock out and have a little dance party. And of course, like all my favorites videos, I'm going to be giving away a few of my faves this month. So, I bet you guys can guess. I bet you can guess. I'm going to be giving away three of the new Dr. Rescue Baby Lips. So you're going to get Just Peachy, Coral Crave, and Berry Soft. Also, my favorite mascara this month, which is the Colossal Smoky Eyes. So if you would like to win these goodies, all you have to do is give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below telling me some of your favorites for the month of September. And like always, the winner from the previous month will be in the description bar below, so I'm going to have last month's winner down there so you can just check it out. So that is about it for my September favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I love you, and I will talk to you in my next video. Computer hogs! <coughs> I think I just sneezed up a lung. One second.
I'm really hungry. I could go for some tacos at 7 o'clock in the morning. Sure, why not? Ah! Got my cereal. Who is it? She's sleepy. Say hi. Hi. <gasps> She's ignoring you guys. <laughs> She's being sassy this morning. Oh! Look it! Look it! Look, it's Barney! tell by the title or maybe it's down there I I don't know I'm gonna be doing my February favorites and I'm just warning you guys right now that I kind of have a lot of favorites this month because I tried out a lot of different things so I have a lot of February favorites but I really want to know what you guys favorites are as well so as always you can leave it as a video response below or leave it in the comment section or okay if you guys post a picture to Instagram of some of your favorites for February and use the hashtag MacBarbie07 or Bethany Moda then I can see all of your favorites and what I'm gonna try to do is take some of your pictures and put them in a big collage and then upload that to my Instagram so yeah you can do that to show me your February favorites because I love to see what you guys love so that I can go get what you love Anyway, I have all of my favorites right here, so we are just going to... No, we're not going to dive into it. We're just going to get started. Okay, so the first thing that I have been using so much for February is the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Mineral Pressed Powder. So I really love this not only because it sets my foundation and concealer, obviously, but it also is supposed to help breakouts, hence the skin clearing on it. See, so yeah, I've been using this a lot because sometimes my skin likes to be mean to me, and it likes to hate me, and it likes to break out, and I'm just like, no skin. Just just stop. You're not going to do that. So I have been using this a lot lately and it's awesome. Okay, and my next favorite is a lip product that I have been wearing so much because I've been breaking out like all my pastel colors and my colorful makeup because I'm excited for spring if you guys didn't know that. So it is the Maybelline Color Whisper Lip Product in the shade Coral Ambition. Ooh, so this is basically just like one of the most stunning coral lip products that I've come across so far. And I actually really like that it's not like bam all up in your face. It's kind of more of like a subtle sheer coral. So I've been wearing this one a lot and I think it actually would look good on all skin tones. So I definitely recommend this if you're looking for a go-to spring lip color because this is my go-to spring lip color right now and it's also really moisturizing which is a huge plus. Oh, and speaking of moisturizing, okay, my lips have been getting chapped and really flaky and nasty and gross, so I have been using Nivea Lip Butters, yay! Okay, so I just recently picked these up at CVS, and I actually got three, but then my sister stole one from me. So if you're looking for something that's just going to straight up, you know, moisturize and hydrate your lips, then this is what you should go for. They are super thick, actually. They're like, they're like butter. It's like butter on your lips, but a good kind of butter. And I kind of want to lick my lips, though, when I put these on, which I know it's bad, but I just can't help it. Like, I just want to eat it. Seriously, like, I could just lick this right now, but that would not be good for my health, so I'm not going to do that. Okay, and as for my favorite nail polish for February, I'm sure you guys can guess what this is because I've kind of talked about it a lot recently. Mint Candy Apple from Essie. Yes, guys, if you want a good mint nail polish, you should definitely get this. I've already said this is the most perfect mint nail polish that I've ever come across, and I've been reapplying it so much recently. And mint is by far my favorite pastel, like, spring color out of all the pastels. Mint green is my fave, so I love this. And my next favorite is actually a perfume that I have been wearing, and I used to wear this like forever ago, and then I stopped using it, and I don't know why, because it smells so delicious. It's the Pink Sugar Perfume, and I get this at Sephora, and first off, I really like the packaging, because I could put it in my purse and not be afraid that it's going to like break and spill out everywhere. So you just pop it open, and there it is. It's just like a really sweet, kind of slightly spicy scent, and it's not like an overpowering, like I just dumped sugar on me. It's not really overpowering like that. It's kind of just like the perfect sweet girly scent, so I have been wearing this constantly lately, and this is like all I smell like now, seriously. And then I have two favorite hair products that I've been using so much in February. First one, my Batiste dry shampoo that I get at Urban Outfitters in Ulta. I think I've showed this in another favorites video, but I just cannot 
get enough of this so I don't only use it like when my hair is like oily I actually just use it when I want like texture and volume in my hair so whenever I feel like my hair is a little flat and just like not fun I'll just spray this at the roots and then I shake it out and poof it's like Victoria's Secret just threw up on you you know what I'm saying but this one specifically it's the rich and elegant and all of their dry shampoos smell really good so this one smells so amazing and I really like the floral one as well so yeah I've been wearing this one a lot in my hair and something you guys might not know is that my hair tangles so easily and it's really really annoying so I've been using the not your mother's naughty to nice get it because your hair is like naughty because it has knots in it I thought it was funny but it is the conditioning detangler spray with Brazilian keratin and first off it smells amazing it makes my hair really shiny and smooth so what I've been doing for the month of February is when my hair is soaking wet and I get it out of the shower, I just spray this all throughout my hair from root to tip and then I take a big wide tooth comb and I just brush it out and my brush just like glides through my hair. It definitely like helps my tangles and my knots and it kind of just loosens them up a little bit because I am really, really impatient when it comes to brushing my hair. So this has been a lifesaver for me in February. And I think those are all my beauty favorites for February, so now we have non-beauty favorites. I don't know why I just did a peace sign. So first off, food! Okay, one second. So first food favorite that I have been kind of obsessed with for February is the Haagen-Dazs Raspberry All Natural Sorbet. This is just amaze beans. Can we just, yes, it's so good. This is what it looks like. It looks like raspberry goodness, right? I know, it's so delicious. And I have been eating this a lot. I just eat it from the pint. Like, I don't even put it in a bowl. I'm just like sitting there watching Pretty Little Liars eating my raspberry sorbet and I'm good. And it's all natural and it's just really good, really refreshing and I love it. So I have been eating this like crazy in February. Oh, and one more food favorite, the Fiber Ones Chewy kids yes I eat chewy kids for breakfast no I'm kidding they're chewy bars for kids so they're just like chocolate granola bars that my mom buys and I recently have accumulated a small teeny obsession with them and if you guys can't tell they have this drizzle of chocolate <gasps> And this box is actually empty because my whole family loves them so we all eat them like crazy I think I just broke it <laughs> okay next thing phone cases yes I have been really into accessorizing my phone and like decking out my iPhone recently so this one is from Charlotte Russe it actually had like a little cover but I broke it and then I have my keep calm and Hakuna Matata and then I have my little sailor one that has like a little anchor and then this one that's on my phone right now is my current favorite it is my skull case and then on the front is that not the coolest thing ever? I just realized that they sell all of these like home buttons and it's just a little skull head and you can just press them. So yeah, phone accessories and just like decking out my phone for February has been one of my February favorites. So if you guys know where I can get cute phone cases, then let me know in the comments because I'm just obsessed right now. Another hair accessory that I have been wearing a lot for February besides my bows, which you guys know I love, I have actually really been into lots of cool different headbands. So I have these wire ones from American Apparel and they're cool because you can do like whatever you want with them so I have a camo one and then this rose one that I love and my bun headbands these are just the cutest things ever so these I both got from Claire's I think they were like three or four dollars they're really inexpensive and they have all different kinds of patterns and colors so I've really been into just spicing up my top knots with these because whenever I'm having a lazy day I'm just like top knot bun headband and I'm good to go Okay, so I think that's it for my non-beauty favorites, and now we have the music favorites. So I have my phone right here, and I'm going to tell you guys my favorite songs for February. Okay, first one, guys. Guys, can we talk about Heart Attack by Demi Lovato? Like, I just about had a heart attack when I first listened to that song. I listened to it on repeat over and over and over again. It's so fun and Demi Lovato is just amazing in general so I have been listening to that song hands down so much in February and I'll have a link to that below if you haven't listened to it and if you have then you can just listen to it again and rock out to it because it's awesome. Okay I've also been listening to a lot of Imagine Dragons which I normally always listen to them because I've been a fan of them for a while but one of my favorite songs from them right now this one's so hard, but I'm going to have to go with Underdog. That's probably like my most listened song by them this month, so I've been listening to that one a lot. Oh, and another one is When I Was Your Man by Bruno Mars. That song is so sad, and when I listen to it, I'm just like, Bruno, don't do this to me, brother. Like, you make me want to hug you. Hug me, brother! 
So yeah, I've been listening to that one a lot. It's really sad, but I do love that song. Oh, and another sad song that I've been listening to is Six Degrees of Separation by The Script. That one is so sad too, and I can't even really like, I don't really relate to the song, but it's just really sad, and I think it's like such a beautiful beat, I guess. So I've been listening to that one too. And those are all my favorite songs for February, so go ahead and leave a comment below and let me know what some of your top favorite songs for February are because I am open to download some new songs to my iPhone. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my February favorites and I think I'm going to go ahead and go because I haven't eaten dinner yet and I should probably eat dinner. That would probably be a good idea. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! It might be. That's a serious matter. Ah! Okay. Chair! Stop! Siri! No! Oops. I think it's fine. It's good. It's good. And yeah! Raspberries! <gasps> you sneaky mom! Plot twist. It's a scarf. Not a headband. Hi, I'm Bethany. What's your name? Cheryl? That'd be funny if someone named Cheryl was actually watching this. Hi, Cheryl! And Bill! And Bob! Guess what? Ow, I think I just got whiplash. It's melting. It's like... Raspberry Lake, not Raspberry Sorbet. I need to go put this in the freezer. Love you, bye! Wait, I should probably turn this off. <laughs>